What is everyone? Welcome back to week two of the PBA. This week has been very weird. I normally record these earlier. Well, you know, week one I record this earlier, obviously, because uh, there was more matches going on very quickly. But because of the late uh, matches of scheduling between Alyssa and Vissy Clan and also Kieran and Zara and Ace, I believe, um, uh, Kieran ended up uh, exiting out of the league. Due to some personal issues, I'm not going to talk about them here because that's his personal life. Um, so, we found a replacement, uh, and you'll see them in action next week. You'll actually see their logo and everything, and what they've done with the team uh, in the Pickums video for week three. But uh, let's get in it. So, Zarade's got a forfeit win because Kieran uh, exed out of the league. So, the team, the person that replaced Kieran is currently 0 2. Uh, by the end of this week, so yeah. Uh, first match that we're going to look at, this is order of the very players that got sent in. First up was Zombie versus Shine Sprite. I don't know any of the results for this matchup, or any of the matchups, so this is going to be very interesting again. We saw Shine Sprite pick up a win, I believe, last week using the Ninjask Glade strategy. Uh, with Baton Pass. I'm hoping to see that again, possibly with uh, Gengar or Obstagoon. I feel like those are the only two Pokemon. Like, you could also run, like, Faz, you know, with Glorify Venusaur. Uh, and I want to see something cool with uh, Grunstone and Reuniclus. Please. Okay, let's get into it. Okay. Girder leads by Henry uh, and Obstagoon, which is straight into the Torkoal. That makes sense. Goes for the knockoff, knocking off that assault vest, not the, uh, the heat rock. Okay. Fire blast does a good amount of damage, 22%. Uh, we don't see leftovers, so that's interesting. Um, goes for a focus blast, but it misses. Okay. That's pretty big. That would have done a lot of damage right there. And then it would have easily allowed Mark Henry to come in. Goes for the knockoff. Okay. What did you actually name the Reuniclus? Mandy. What? Why? <laughs> Doesn't look like Mandy Reuniclus. Okay. Drain Punch. Getting the recovery. Okay, okay, okay. Sun has faded. Reuniclus now comes in. Another Fire Blast comes off. So now, now Zombie knows that he can switch in Reuniclus against the Torkoal. Obstagoon comes in. This is where the focus blast would have been big because I don't know if he would have uh, like predicted more focus blast or something like that. Mark Henry now comes in. The girder goes for the parting shot. Duraludon comes in, which I don't know if that's a good play right there. I suppose if your attack stats are lower, it is. Uh, goes for the reflect. Goes in a torkel. Focus blast again misses. Jesus, bad luck. Right off the back, another. Focus Blast missed. Knockoff comes off, knocking off the Assault Vest. Psychic comes off, does a ton of damage to Venusaur. Goes for a Solar Beam, though, and Venusaur gets knocked out. Who the hell is texting our phones? Okay, Obstagoon comes in, goes for the Facade, actually. Does a ton of damage to the Girder. Torkoal now comes in, goes for the Mark Punch, not a ton of damage off there, but does put it out l below half. Goes for the Fire Blast, I'm expecting like a uh, recover, no, a Psychic. Another Fire Blast comes off, knocks off the Reuniclus. I was thinking recover because then you can, it did, the Fire Blast and Sun did less than 50, and then you could stall out the Sun because it'll, for then it'll do you less damage. I don't know, Dragon Dance Substitute. Interesting, okay. He's got to know that Scarf outspeeds it, though, so... That's, like... the Scarf Gengar outspeed plus one speed? I have zero idea, but he's at plus two now, so, yeah, that's guaranteed outspeeding the Scarf Gengar, I'm pretty sure. Um, Duraludon comes in. How is... How are you going to break out of this? I want to see this. Uh, it's like, Draco Media is, like, neutral. He, he does that. The Dragon Darts is doing more than half. Max Steel. Spike. That's up in the defense stat. And I'm pretty sure Dragon Dance is a physical attacking move. 
This is very, he's doing the substitute, that's hurting, that's damage, that's saying the sub, that's off us in the defense. I see Duraludon winning this. Oh, no, maybe not, actually, because now the thing's gone. Yep, Dragon Darts knocks out Duraludon. Is this going to be a sweep? Straight off the back. Goes in a Torkoal. Dragon Nets. Maybe thinking Shadow Ball was going to come out if it was in the Gengar. Gengar now comes in low-key. Dragon Nets just one-shots that. Is this going to be a 5-0 sweep to Zombie? I did say in my pick-ons video, if anyone's going to 6-0 anyone, is this, this isn't a 6 though. But if anyone's going to straight up KO someone, it's going to be Zombie. That's what I said. That's what I said. Dragon Dance, boom, and a 5-0 win to Zombie. Okay, that is very interesting. Okay, 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 5-0 win to Zombie. Now, this is not not putting nothing against Sean Sprite, because Sean Sprite, we saw what he can do with the ninja -esque. He just... Mm, what could he have done? Um, plus, like, bringing more on offensive, like, banded. I don't really know. Something new with Obscune. Does Obscune get Sucker Punch? I have zero idea. But if it did, then possibly, like, a knock or Sucker Punch Obscune. Because then you can, like, be, like, mind games with Zombie. Be like, oh, am I going to Sucker Punch or am I going to knock off? Yeah, I don't. I don't know what he could have done. Don't know what transfer he could have done. Because I'm not looking at the rest of the Pokemon right now. So, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what he could have done. Uh, so, let's get into the next matchup. We have Skinny Biscuit versus Surf Nape. Skinny Biscuit on the far side. Surf Nape on the... The side to looking at right now with the Hatterini and the Escavalier. Um, I totally forgot who I thought was gonna win, but Lantern leads with Durant. Entrainment gives the Durant. I, you should have done that with a different Pokemon. Oh, you're loafing around now. Goes for the Volt Switch. Does a good amount of damage, actually. Is that Specs? I don't think it is. Maybe. Did a lot. Shadow Ball. Lives on one percentage and goes for the Earthquake. That is some luck right there. Unless that's just a roll and they got a high roll and it's supposed to do less. I have zero idea. <laughs> Wanna be Pikachu. Goes for the Swords Dance. Go for a Play Rough. No Drain Punch, actually. Interesting. Boy, I already turned off one of my phones. Why is my other phone going crazy now? Turn off all the phones, alright? Turn off every phone. Alright, protect. Shadow Ball. Okay, Shadow Ball does a ton of damage right there. I was expecting actually a Trick Room from... Uh, I'll go with it too. I suppose that would actually boost up a Scavalier and Hatterini there. Don't really know. Protect. Trying to get as much HP as I can. I would have switched out to Trappinch. Yeah, I would have went Trappinch. Because... Then I could have. Not only on a close combat, negative the defense stats for Trap Inch. Yeah, there we go. Trap Inch is in. First impression. Why did you do that? I mean, I still would have been Trap Inch the first time. Because then the defenses would have been lowered and then Lapras would have. Maybe. I don't know. If you know. Jesus, okay. I I think I've had a skinny biscuit on this, and now it's very surprising. Because I, I thought that he was going to do what I expected him to do, you know, using the uh, Gotha Tower, like Pupira Song, Lapras, and then switching into Gotha Tower to get the Shadow Tag off to his advantage. I th okay, then. Skinny Biscuit. Again, another 5 I win. Good job to Surf Nape, actually. GG's. I feel like Skinny Biscuit needs to stop bringing some of these weaker Pokemon, like Trap Inch and Colossal. Uh, surprised Umbreon. I mean, there is a Tarakion in this guy, really, I suppose. Um, Colossal is fine. I think Trap Inch was the... The like Trapinch was one of your better Pokemon. I'm not looking at the deck right now. I, I will, I will, I will do that. I will do that. 
I just got sent to his Pokemon's, uh, two people's poker face during this. So, I'm gonna look at, uh, Surf Nights, because, uh, Spinny hasn't sent me his yet, and, uh, you know, I'm already streaming. Uh, so it was a Scarf Channel, though. It was a muscle band. I don't know what that does, but I don't want to Google it right now. Uh, we also see a list of the ones for later on. Um, so, yeah. It's pronounced like Elisa. El, El, Elisa? <laughs> I'm sorry. Instead of eyes. I don't know. I'm just going to call you Elisa. Let's hopefully that, that works out good. Um, so, let me help on the dark for a second. Okay, I am on the dark. Uh, what could a skinny biscuit bring? Rotom Mo would have been very good, actually. Rotom Mo would have put in work. Like a scarf Rotom Mo. I don't know if that would have outspeed the scarf channel lore that they bring. But, uh, scarf Rotom Mo would have actually put in somewhat of work. I mean, there is a fly going there. But I don't know what was the chance of that because he had a Lapras. So I think like a Scarf Rotomo really would, would have put in a lot of work. Because then again, it's like Tarakion, you would have outsped it and been able to leave Storm or Volt Switch. Um. Marini? But that kind of also loses like an Earthquake. And I would not expect you to bring that. Maybe I would suggest can you just get going on the free agency and trading out some of the Pokemon that aren't putting in as much work right now. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say right there. Uh, let's go to the next matchup between Caitlyn and Cheez-Its. Um, I totally forgot who I thought was gonna win again. Um, it's been a while since I did the pick-ons video. It's been like a few days. Uh, yeah. Um, let's, um, I'll just look at it like this, though, in the straight-up matchup who I think is gonna win, because I forgot who I actually voted for. Um, I'm gonna say Cheez-Its, just looking at the matchup. Is that Charles or Digimax? Because if that is, then, then possibly change my suggestion, but, yeah, okay. Cheez-Its, come on, man. Come on, man. Beat up Kale. Type Nell and a Taunt. Okay. So a Taunt Razor Raid. A Rose Raid. U turn, Zero Aura comes in. <laughs> Jeez, I was yawning. Oh my god. Zero Aura is toxic, good. so they're using it the toxic strats. Does Zero Aura get grass now? It does, but is he gonna use it? And is they gonna predict it? No, they ain't gonna use it. And they ain't gonna predict it. Those are the rocks. I mean, I think the air best strategy right there would have maybe gone to Arcanine to predict, like, the grass and all, but... They might have thought that. You didn't have it. I don't know. Knockoff. Clefable comes in. Earth power. That does a good amount of damage, actually. Jesus. Roserade comes in. Flamethrower. Good play right there. Nice amount of damage. Leaves some knocks out the Noivern. But Roserade also lowers the special attack stat. Gengar comes in. Type nails in. Sledge Wave. Not going for the Shadow Ball. Going for the move that is not immunity to this. Rest, actually. Healing up that Toxic, I believe. Calm Mind. Setting up on the Rest type no, But Sleep Talk goes into the U-turn. Roserade now comes in. Are you eating up a Sledge Bomb? No, you are not, but you are dying. So the question is, is that a good exchange? I'm not sure. I, because you just lost two Pokemon to kill that Roserade. That's big. I, I mean, you still got rocks up. So I mean, that could be heavy duty boots Charizard though. So that is a thing. Um. Fish Arps in, type and now. Normally these videos are a lot longer, uh, because we have more than four matches. We have five matches, uh, but because of Zardace and Kieran thing, uh, we only have four matches this week. Next week will be... <laughs> oh, is this him one tank and a sweep? 
I'm not. He goes max. He kills it. Jesus. Okay. I was thinking that M1 Chain was going to put in work right there. How much is that doing? 33%, but that is plusing the special attack. Oh, and the Thunder Wave miss. I mean, if you hit this next one, it didn't really matter. Okay, yeah. I mean, it might have, because you might have got paralyzed. I don't know. This allows zero aura to outspeed. And Charizard, actually. Charizard now actually G-Max Wildfire. Knocks it out, goes in the Arcanine. Does Arcanine get anything to KO this? I'm not sure. Toxic? If you don't have leftovers, yeah. You don't got leftovers. Mudsdale comes in. Maybe Mudsdale should have been applied in the first place. Because that's doing 44%. Unless you got Protect. Then you may be screwed. Aight. Oh, you do you got Protect. But that is not a physical attacking move. So that defense boost didn't really matter. Flamethrower knocks out the Mudsdale. I was underestimating Caitlyn. Air Slash, a critical hit Air Slash, but Morning Sun actually stalling it out. I mean, we already know that Seismitoad pretty much beats the Arcanine, but... Oh, you do got Toxic. Oh, but you do got Rest. Smart prep by Caitlyn. Okay, okay, okay. This is... This is interesting. Okay. Flamboyant. Still asleep. Earth power does a good amount of damage, but you are toxicated, so it, you're, it's basically over for full of cheez -Its. I bet cheez -Its is just trying to get some differential points, but 3 0 by Caitlyn over cheez -Its right there. Okay. Caitlyn is on a roll right now. I mean, so is anyone else that's won two weeks on a row, but. The first week, you beat Zombie, and that was big in my eyes. And now you're beating Cheez-Its, who beat, I believe, Kieran last week, right? Um, so, the PBA's looking at, I mean, we still got a lot of weeks left. We got like eight weeks left, so, definitely comebacks from, from, from Cheez-Its, definitely, you know, one and one. One and one. Now, the last matchup of here, we have it Snom AM, who I believe is Alyssa. Uh, at least I. So, I'm sorry, right? Teammate, Snom AM, alright? Versus Shitty Luck like Vic, alright, uh, who is uh, Vicky Clone. Uh, not Vicstar123, uh, <laughs> I'm the sideman. Uh, this is Vicky Clone. Um, totally forgot again. <laughs> I keep forgetting who I'm voting. I should, like, make a list or something when I remember. So I can remember who I voted for. Okay. Corsola, Shadow Ball, Immunity. Try to make a big play off the back of Wissy Clown, but it didn't work out. Aldegar's now comes in. Is that a Specs Heliolisk? I kind of think that. That much. That much attack and power. That must have been a. A Specs Heliolisk. I haven't seen the. Actually, I can I can actually go ahead and look over, cause Alyssa, Alisa, Alisa, I'm sorry, all right. So my am actually did see me say, and yes, it was specs. All right, so I got that right. Nice. Did I really reset it? Oh my god. Okay, let's put it on fast, so then we can. Ye, boom. You can see this go super fast. Elder Gods. Ye. Okay. Lead seed, reflect up, rapid spin, taking away those rocks. When did Aldegoss get trapped? I don't, e I don't even know what Aldegoss has, right? Roost on Corviknight. We got screens up. Possibly trying to get a Necrozma? No, Milotic. Why are you trying to get a Milotic? Now it's like if you Devog, you're going to have to also get rid of the screens. It's like, what are you trying to do? Shitty luck wins. That's kind of coming to play right now. You missed that first toxic. Cinderace comes in. If that was heavy duty beat Cinderace, that would have been nice though, because you wouldn't have taken rocks damage, and I believe not even the toxic spikes. Oh, court change. Oh, that is. I don't know if that's good or bad actually, because you put away the toxic spikes, but you also gave them light screen. Okay, no light screen. So okay, that then it's fine. Then it's fine. 
Um, takes away the Toxic Price with Salazzle, goes into Dracovish. Cinderace now comes in. What is Cinderace doing in here against Dracovish? I have zero idea. Vicious Rin. My Lady, because you're an answer for that. Aldegas now comes in. Goes for Toxic. Your heat's already poisoned. They're starting off pretty even, actually. So, this is... This is going to be... This, this, this is going to be fire. <laughs> this is going to be fire, alright? Uh, I think I already said that in the pick video, actually. <laughs> but, that's how much I know about these two teams of Pokemon, right? Double O. W O. Alright. Substitute. Yeah, I think we saw this in week one, did we? I totally forgot, but... I think we saw this in week one. Agility. Baton pass in a necrozma. This is fire, Vissy. I like this. Stored power. What was this sick? Calmine, iron defense, stored power. And what was your double? What was your double? What was your double? I'm gonna look at this. Agility, baton pass, substitute, and thunder wave. Oh my god, Vissy. What are you doing to these players? I'm missing Kalana. Okay. Going into this. Calm mind. This is why Vissy Clone was going to be the number one in the Power Ranks if I did do a Power Ranks video. Which I didn't, but if I did, this is why I would have put him number one. Alright, Memento! Interesting. I'm trying to lower down some of those stats. Lead Seed. Alisa trying to just not get 6 0 lives on 1 HP. And gets lead seed HP. Oh, but it has a rest. And the Lumberry. Jesus, the prep from Bissy Clan. Coming into play. There we go. Heliolus is in. Not my friend. Is this going to be the first 6 of the season? Yes, it is. I thought it was going to be from Zombie, but it was from Vissy Clan. Well, we just gonna have a, a round of applause for Vissy Clan right there. That's some nice prep, all right? Double and the charisma. And this ain't putting anything over Alyssa or Elisa or the Boston Snubs, whatever you want to call them, right? This ain't putting nothing on them because I'm pretty sure they won their match last week. Um, did they? I don't know if they got, but they're still a great ass battler. So, it was just a matter of how well they actually prepped for a Necruzma setup like this. Um, I totally am going to go back on the dock. I aged out of it before when I was looking at some of the other stuff on Skinny Biscuit. But I'm going to go back to it just to see if there was... Okay, Bronze Zone could have came. That was your only really counter to this, though. You also have an Orbeetle. So it was like... You could have bring one of those. Um... I mean, Orbeetle would have sort of probably still died. But Bronzon would have had a chance. So I feel like... Possibly Bronzon with like Thunder Wave would have done the well in this matchup. But... I ain't taking nothing their way, alright? This is... I, what is this? This is crazy. Okay. Um, that was the last match of uh, the week. Uh, because, again, Zard and Kieran didn't have a matchup. Uh, there's going to be five uh, matchups next week. You're going to see that pick on video probably in the, the next few days. So, uh, watch out for that video. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. We actually saw... Uh, what was this? We saw a 5 0, we saw another 5 0, we saw a 3 0, and then we saw a 6 0. So a, a bit of a mixture. Um, you know, some people putting in more work than others. You know, Vizzy Clown putting in work, Zombie putting in work, and Surf Knight putting in work. And then we saw some nice matchup right here between Sheezles and Caitlyn. What was the longest turn battle this week? It was actually a tie between uh, the Elisa match and the Caitlyn Cheez-Its match. Okay. 
GG's to all the coaches that participated this week. GG to everyone. Um, and uh, hopefully the people that lost can make a comeback future in the season. And uh, learn from their mistakes. And the guys that won get better, I suppose. Um, peace out, guys. Also, boy, who's going to be the first person to bring some meme sets, my G? Then I can put some stuff in the titles and the thumbnails. I we can make this very funny. Next minute, I, I have two people in mind that are going to do it, but... Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe. More YouTube videos coming your way. Peace out, guys.